What's up lads, you're the Budget Monk and welcome to a new video. We're going to be talking Brandenburg, one of my favorite nations, Brandenburg. They have in the patch domination been granted a ton of extremely powerful mission rewards such as this which is unlocked from the nobility giving them 10 CCR. There's plenty of powerful missions, extremely valuable and cool, right? Great. There's a problem. So in this video we're going to be talking about problem then the next part is going to be solution and then finally i'm going to be talking generally the specifics as to exactly what you should be doing as brandenburg in the beginning of the game as a general kind of guide so the problem the unspark succession this mission here for people who do not know a lot of people claim that it's kind of bugged out i don't believe that it's bugged out it just is very poorly designed now i don't want to cry too much about this it's just the fact is as you'll see here as i break this down when you play brandenburg and you do not anticipate this you're going to have a miserable time due to the way that it's it's it works and uh i'm here to provide a solution for that okay so let's talk about the way that it works when you obtain the objective which is unspark now of course your heir is the same ruler of unspark meaning you will most likely have your ruler pass away and pu unspark okay so this is automatically going to complete not in a fashion at which you get to decide when it completes it just happens arbitrarily at any given moment this will give you five years as a timed mission to complete the next one franconian so when you pass this guys it's under the assumption that you have completed the timed mission. If you read this here, after the event takes place, which is when you obtain this province, uh, you need to complete the following objective, the next mission, within five years. If you're successful, your ruler will gain plus one military point, or if he has a six, it will be 100 military points for free. More importantly, you will gain 25 power protection for the entire game. That's insane. That means the new 20, 25 becomes the new 50 for you. Because if you have 25 plus 25, you will have 50. This is absolutely insane. It means you'll have plus 50 power protection for the entire game. Okay, effortlessly without even having to work for it. Which means monarch points to all. Fantastic, amazing, incredibly good. Now, if you fail this, it's going to actually complete the Franconian mission for you, which means that you miss out on the 100 militia points, you miss out on the 100 Diplo or Franconian culture accepted, and you miss out on these rewards, and you gain plus 15 aggressive expansion with all nations, which is pretty brutal inside this region of the world. Um, but it's really the opportunity cost of missing out on the power projection feels bad, man, right? You're going to want to start again and, and complete this. Feels bad, man. Now, now that we know how this works, okay, when you PU Unspark, you're going to have five years to take four provinces because Unspark and Beirut, your new unions, count as two, right? So taking four provinces, that can't be that hard, can it? Well, let's think about this. Two of them are free cities. Okay, so how many are remaining? We've got these two. Two of them are free cities. You can't attack free cities. So you're dealing with one, two, three, four. Uh, Bamberg is under Vuzberg. This means you actually have to fight three independent different wars within five years. Yikes. This could happen very early in the game. That's tough, right? Three wars, five years. They're all each going to have their own diplomatic network difficult but it's worse than that of course because you have no option to do this at your own leisure it will just be thrown upon you at any random time so most likely you're probably participating in another war you've got your pants down extremely challenging to say the least when you know even when you understand the mechanics as to how it works so let's talk solutions before we do that i just want to say that strong duchies which gives you plus two relations is now you can put it down guys the strong duchies i don't think it's here right now uh from your personal unions okay so very important to understand these do not cost relation slots okay two little guys pop down strong duchies let's talk solutions guys the solution is going to be to feed unspark when they are an independent nation so that's a very big brain move you can see that he desires the land and the obvious one is going to be Saxony, okay? Because you have a common border here. If we feed him the provinces, let's say just this province here, that is going to reduce it down to two wars, dramatically increasing the success rate 
uh, provided basically that the event doesn't happen instantly, okay? By feeding him when he is an independent nation, this really abuses the very hard difficulty mechanic. If you're playing on very hard difficulty, the AI has reduced aggressive expansion. Meaning, let's say that Saxony allies this free city. Uh, if he is non-co-belligerent, that would be insane amounts of aggressive expansion for the player to take this. But it's not as bad for the AI to take it. So you definitely want to be giving him as many provinces as possible. Now let's say he does not uh, ally a free city, but instead Ingolstadt, let's say. He allies Ingolstadt. You still are going to want to give any provinces you can to Unspark, guys. And the reason why is, number one, you're going to PU them. So you're actually gaining the provinces for zero aggressive expansion. It's Unspark who gets it, and zero Monarch points, you know, until you inevitably annex them. Although they're quite small, you might do it for free on Ruler Death. But you're going to want to do it for another reason, which is because there is a problem, unfortunately, to this big brain move which is unlawful territory. The Emperor might demand unlawful territory. So let's say Saxony allies Ingle. We can now give him three provinces. Keep in mind, Unspark can core this through his subject, and he wants it, as you can see. So you don't need to worry about that. By giving him three provinces, it reduces the likelihood that the Emperor will demand this one. Now, there's another thing, of course, if Unspark has very strong diplomacy, including Hungary, for example, he will not return the provinces. But let's say that there's no solution in terms of giving him multiple provinces, uh, increasing his diplomacy. What is one to do? What you're going to want to do is basically stick out at war while you curry favors to call him in to another war immediately after piecing out. Okay, As this is a German province, Franconian, uh, Franconian nation will court very quickly, like 18 months, okay? And by calling him into another war, let's say Magdeburg, uh, the emperor does not demand unlawful territory from nations who are at war. So with all that being said, that is the solution, and that's the main crux of the video. I hope that that benefits the Brandenburg boys who are out here trying to play Brandenburg and have a glorious game, uh, because that is the solution that I found. It works very well. Uh, what you're going to want to hope, it's about a 50-50, guys. Saxony gets an event here where he often will give this province to Thuringia. If he does that, you can make a claim, fabricate on Saxony, claim Thuringia, and promise Unspark land. If not, you're going to have to wait for favors, okay? But it is what it is. That's the best solution. Now, the final part of this video, I'm going to be talking about the exact moves that you should be making. I'm not going to be talking about the estates, guys. The estates are lame. They always absorb too much time. But I would take, like, one of these. And then when we initially are going to piece out and chunk more land, that's when I would quickly take more of these to reduce my crown land, which then readjusts when we take more land. So I still operate in a manner where I try to keep the influence low initially, okay? But you're going to want this one. Reputation and relations with Catholics. It's very important. We're going to seize land here initially while there's no penalty. We're going to go ahead and drop the free company, okay? And you're going to want Royal Mary, Poland, and Austria as your first moves. Now, Poland. If Poland is rivaling Bohemia... This is just complete RNG, guys. He might not be. You will see that there's plus 20 reasons from being threatened by Bohemia. And we can actually ally, provided that he doesn't ally my enemy or something. Uh, there's The too many relations is no longer an issue. That's why we raw marriage them. And it actually, the relation slot here uh, diminishes the likelihood that Poland is going to randomly put down an alliance with one of your enemies. But that might happen nonetheless. We can ally him on the 12th of December. Uh... If not, your best bet is to rival the Tudans, as he pretty much always rivals them. Scornful insult them, and it's going to take you only a very short period of time. Uh, there it is. With the addition of a reputation advisor, guys, you can ally him again on the 12th of December, okay? Which is very important. That is one day after you could potentially go to war for the first time. But as much as we want to go to war, you have to build some kind of diplomacy. Let's let five days go by. Because Bohemia kills you in this patch, okay? They want this province really hardcore. They claim it and they attack you. So you're going to want to get some nation who is powerful enough, okay? And that is Poland, 
to stove off an attack so that you are free to make the moves that we want to make. We're going to vote for the Emperor. That's going to give us relations. He's rivaling Bohemia as well. That's huge. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and drop a scornful insult to get our relations up. You can see how easy that can be potentially to ally the Emperor. Even if you do not have the threatened by Bohemia, by doing the vote with him, maxing relations, scornful insulting, and grabbing this, you can ally the Emperor, guys, even if he does not flip friendly. They often will flip friendly at plus 100 relations. And before you start expanding, you want to ally him. Notice I said war with Poland and expanding with Austria because our initial wars are not going to be about expanding. Uh, let's go ahead and Royal Mary Unspark. Just like that, you can see we can ally him. And now, as Brandenburg, we want to be looking for show strength opportunities. And what that means is nations excluding Saxony, because we don't want a truce. We're looking for nations who actually have little to no friends. Such as Anhalt. Looks perfect. Before the end of the month, I'm going to rival Anhalt. I'm going to rival Magdeburg. And we'll leave it open for now. So this could be on Bohemia on the or the Tudans. Uh, Bohemia is not available, as you can see, but they do become available. If you are on normal difficulty, it would be slightly different. And even though you could wait until the 11th when you can declare war, rival Anhalt then, if he has no diplomacy, you would simply embargo another nation to update your CBs instead of the end of month. I chose to do it now, even though there's some risk that they make allies. And the reason why is because if we embargoed somebody, then I would ally Poland on the 12th, and we would have to wait for our diplomats to return anyway. Unfortunate. Anhalt has Hungary. Magdeburg is still available. Let's see about the 12th here. There it is. And this Cassis Belli, of course, unlocks the show strength which is going to allow you to gain 100 of all monarch points. I think our numbers here can do the trick. So while we fight this, we want to be making our claim against Saxony, hoping that he hands off the province to Thuringia. And in the meantime, we're going to want to grab a military access to walk around here in order to stack wipe Magdeburg. Oh, nice, he was stack wiped anyway. But we need to prevent him from reinforcing. Just like that. So that's 100 to all. Okay, I think we can call it there, guys. So as you can see, just to reiterate, make diplomacy for before Bohemia attacks you. We're looking for show strength opportunities, okay? Something like this, we could do it even, uh, you know, we have the opportunity. If Hungary dishonors a call to arms because of something crazy happening, attack Anhalt, show superiority. In the meantime, we're prepping our claim to feed Unspark. Unspark, we can ally him as soon as this war is over. And there's the friendly Austria, so we should be able to ally them as well, which therefore unlocks the ability to now start expanding. Otherwise, we've got the fate of Newmark happening, okay? I would potentially sell titles and go down to 15. I think that's totally reasonable uh, in order to pay for Newmark and keep the economy afloat. We can go ahead and stop uh, managing our fort right now while we're at war. And because this is nice and easy, we can partially maintain our troops. And you can consider accumulating some cash or going for advisors. But just to reiterate... Uh, feed Unspark. That should be your goal. That's the best solution I can come up with. It can result in a smooth, clean game. However, it is janky. Sometimes it's RNG based. But if you're really, really trying hard there, guys, that's kind of the perfect start for Brandenburg. Diplomacy, show strength, work on the Emperor, work on Unspark. We're prepping a war against Saxony, who in this case, boom, there it is, boys. We could give him Nuremberg as well. Now, some people are going to think winning this is quite difficult, even with Unspark's help. No worries, guys. Simply look for nations such as Hesse here. Look, royal marriage. We can ally him. Promise him land as well. Okay? It's that simple. Promise him land. In this case, he doesn't want land for whatever reason. But whether you feed him land or not, we would still be able to promise it to him. 
uh, just get get help from Saxony's enemies. Okay, the major thing is, even if you don't take the province, the major thing is to feed Unspark. I hope that benefits you and you guys can have a glorious Brandenburg game. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe to the video if, uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video if this benefited you. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out, guys.